All right, so the first step we gotta do is the distributive property where we take this four and multiply it by the three and then multiply it by the half. So the four times three gives us 12 and the four times a half, we can write four as a fraction four over one. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's 12 plus four over two, if you like, because you multiply the tops, you got four and multiply the bonds, you get two. That's just 12 plus four over two makes two, and then that's just 14, right? Yeah. And the distributive property is kind of like if you had, say, you know, two apples and three bananas in a bag, and you wanted to, you had 10 of those bags, right? So how much fruit is that? Well, you'd multiply the 10 by this, and then the 10 by this. So the 20 plus 30. Right, 20 apples, 30 bananas. So that's what the distributive property is. When you've got a number beside a parenthesis, and there's terms in here, things being added or subtracted, you take this number and multiply it by the stuff in there, right? And it doesn't just have to be two numbers. Like you could have an apple, a banana, a cherry, and a pear in a bag. And then if you have five of those bags, that means you would five of each type of fruit type of thing. Make sense? Yes, what I, I, I know what I did wrong. I was multiplying the four by the three and then multiplying the four by the one and then adding them instead of 